the heel. Plumley goes and gets it. Plumley in the lane. And it's just been the family game. Um, my both my brothers played, my parents played, and it's something that we've always had a passion for. He talked to our parents a lot about going to West Point when he had scholarship offers from uh, Virginia and Duke were the last two schools that he was considering. So, um, you know, he had a really good senior year of basketball. He made the McDonald's All-American team. And I think it, you know, me and my older brother being at Duke at the time made it too hard to turn down. But but I just remember the first time he showed up in his uniform to practice and we just all kind of laughed and we're like, oh, this won't last long. Just because, you know, I, my older brother, he tried to do, when you're a Duke basketball player, academics are very important and we do all our own work at Duke, but there's also an understanding of how much you can take on outside of basketball. So um, my older brother tried to do the engineering school and to no fault of his own, he was on academic probation because he missed all the lab hours um, he couldn't get, like, you have to have the professors work with you when you have a schedule like that. So we saw Marshall show up in his fatigues and we were like, okay, this will be like one week and he'll be done. But he, um, you know, he saw it through and he kept honoring his uh, commitment to that. And uh, we were really proud of him. And, you know, I think the the bigger discussion as a family came when he finished on the Bucks playoff roster um, and then he, he comes back to us and he says, Hey, you know, I don't want to want to play basketball anymore. So that was, we already knew it, but we appreciated it even more. He, he doesn't care about money. He cares about, um, you know, having a purpose, the people that he works with, the mission that's behind the work that he's doing. And he loved basketball. He was really good at it. And I just think it wasn't as fulfilling to him as the decision he ultimately made. I'm not in there day to day, but just seeing um, his progression in his military career has been something that we're all very proud of. Um, you know, he was down in Georgia for a while, then he went through Ranger School, um, and now he's out stationed in Seattle and deciding on his next move out there. I saw some pictures. To me, the coolest one. My mom went down and saw them. I guess they have a they have three uh, three parts of it. I guess land, air, and sea. But um, when she caught him coming out of the mountains, and I guess they have like a six or eight hour window to connect with their family, and I saw him hugging my mom, <laughs> I thought that was the coolest picture that I saw from his whole experience. You know, five people telling you like, look, we're worried, we don't think it's the best thing, and you ultimately do it, then you know that's, that's what you're meant to do. So um, once he made his decision, there was no looking back, and we were all in supporting him. He just talked about the, the sleep deprivation he said was incredible. Um, you know, some of the strategy stuff was super interesting and, you know, he's just really, he's really proud of the people that he gets to work with and learn from. So a lot of what he shares with me are stories from his, um, his leaders or his, uh, his team that he gets to work with, which is really cool. You have our support. Hopefully you have the support of your family. And if they don't come around to it at the beginning, they will on the end because uh, the sacrifice that you guys are making and the commitment um, so that we can enjoy an incredible lifestyle is, is something that we're eternally grateful for.